Greetings to all in the name of Jesus. Let's talk today from Genesis 16 chapter from 5 to 16 verses. If you want to see the previous videos of from Genesis commentary, you can go to my YouTube playlist. Let's pray. Father God, thank you in Jesus name speak to us today and reveal to us your truth with the power of your Holy Spirit. Thank you in Jesus name I pray. Amen. we see here that in genesis 16 that after hagar becomes pregnant sarah was jealous and she casts hagar out of the house and hagar is running and she went into this into this place and she was running from her mistress and when she comes to this particular place then she meets the angel of the lord the angel of the lord comes to hagar and comforts her and tells her that your destiny is with your mistress you have to go back to sarah then only the divine destiny is fulfilled sometimes we always miss the mark and we need god to intervene in our life to show us the direction and that's exactly what happened here but we see that we we see uh, one important thing that where did hagar meet god or the angel of god she meets in this place between kadesh and bereth between kadesh and bereth the angel of the lord appears now kadesh in hebrew means holy god is holy he is a holy god in one peter 115 says but like the holy one who called you be holy yourselves also in all your behavior god wants us to be holy holy in our thinking holy in our speech holy what we see and what happens if we fail if we fail then we have jesus blood to cleanse us man cannot become righteous without being cleansed by the blood of jesus we need to constantly cleanse ourselves with the blood of jesus to come into that place of holiness when once we have grown up or developed an habit of cleansing ourselves with the blood of jesus then we come to a place of holiness we walk in the place of holiness which is not a self righteousness or a self holiness gained by our own strength but by the power of god between kadesh and bered now kadesh means holy and bered the word bered means praises in psalm 22 3 says but thou art holy o thou that inhabitest the praises of israel in the heaven there is a constant praise which is given to god by the angels god inhabits in the praises of his children when you praise god it creates a throne and god sits on the throne praise makes us a way to enter into the presence of god you see that where did hagar met met that angel between kadesh which is holy and bered which is praise when you have a consistent life of holiness by cleansing ourselves and sanctifying ourselves with the word of god with the blood of jesus and when you have a a, a constant habit of praising god exalting him giving him the reverence you would come into that center where you would meet god where you would hear from god where you would get the direction from god this is very important to having god's direction in our life otherwise we will be lost we will meet in the next teaching till then god bless you all